what's up folks in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your trailer fuses if they're broken so now first things first I was just doing my PTI right so now you see my running lights are not on on the back of the truck we're just going to go back and take a look at it real quick our running lights are not working The reason I'm showing you this is because you have to analyze first what could be wrong with your with what's causing the lights not to work and what I believe it's my fuse is because when I'm turning on my emergency signals my lights are working so what does that mean what that means is here I don't have a problem my 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 electricity line is fine so that's fine and none of my lights are burnt so that's number two my lights are working when i'm turning the emergency signal the hazard lights so the lights are good the line is good so what we're going to do now is we're going to go check the fuse i've got my flashlight right here okay so here's your fuse box just to clarify guys the fuse for your trailer is always going to be here on a volvo the fuses that are inside that's usually related for the truck so this is for the trailer so we're gonna take a look at it here right here you have the map of what these are you take a look at it right so there you go trailer marker trailer clearance so those are the two fuses we have to check fe2 fe3 you come back here to the map FE2, FE3. So this FE2, this is FE3. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and my. Let me put on the. All right, guys. So we're gonna pull out this one first. The trailer mark lights. So as you can see, this fuse is not burnt. The fuse is good. We're gonna put it back on. Oh, we're gonna, so now we're gonna pull out the trailer marker lights. That's fine. Okay guys, you see? My trailer marker lights are burnt. Well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the same size. So this is 20. So now I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a 20. Okay. And we're gonna put it. So see the lights are now working. So now we're gonna replace the fuse. Folks, boom, look at that, we've got the lights working, so that was pretty easy, huh? So it's really important for you to analyze first, before you go to mechanic, before you call the service, costing you hundreds of dollars. beautiful day especially when you're able to fix it to, uh, so well let's call it for free because those if those fuses cost you nothing so number one I'm just gonna repeat it folks one more time first you turn on your emergency signals make sure that you're getting lights all the way to the back of the truck so if all the lights are working that means your lamps are not burnt and that means you're getting electricity here, so you don't have any problems it could be a short circuit you, you might have a poor ground but before you do all of that you got to go and check the fuses and in a scenario like this we were able to analyze and fix it in less than three minutes guys thanks for watching hopefully you found the video useful 
Please share, comment, subscribe. And folks, until next time.